This is Dr. Kemi Olunaya. It's May 26, 2019. I'm talking about parading suspects today. The EFCC, the Economic Financial Crimes Commission of Nigeria, an anti-graft agency that's supposed to be catching thieves, politicians that are stealing the masses and whatnot. Fraud, cybercrime, name it. What I've noticed is that the EFCC is parading suspects. Most of the suspects are young men. They call them Yahoo boys. They'll make them hold their computers, their laptops, their charms, and they'll let them stand next to cars they've seized and property they've seized from them. Well, here is my problem. Nigerians have human rights and they have civil rights. Our constitution in 1999 states that. Why are we parading suspects before they are convicted, before they go to court? before they have a court date. Why are we pronouncing them guilty before trial? You're innocent until you're proven guilty. It's in our constitution that you must have your court date. But then of course we have a country where we are extrajudicially killing people behind the cells at SARS. I've seen it with my own eyes when I was arrested. The basic fact is that I am going to the National Assembly. This next assembly, I didn't think it's the 10th one, I am going to testify. I've never been to Abuja, but this is going to take me to Abuja because I want some lawmakers to sponsor a bill that no criminal in Nigeria should be paraded. Nobody should be paraded. And the Nigerian media establishment, which I call fraudulent. Nigeria has a big fraudulent media establishment, brown envelope journalists and whatnot. All the media houses owned by politicians. We used to write stories in the newspapers and we printed them. Now, the newspapers have already been printed before we write the stories. They've bought it. So now, I want to go to the National Assembly to petition the government and the new Senate leader to wipe that out of the law. If you catch somebody, don't put them in front of media outlets. The stupid media, television, newspaper, and whatnot, have these suspects in their media scrum with their microphones and their recorders right in the mouth of the suspects while the suspect is confessing without going to court. That way, what they say can be used against them in a court of law. When they get to court, they might change their story and the judge says, um, you already said that on TV cameras. Many of these Nigerians don't know their rights. When I was in Port Harcourt prison, persecuted as a journalist, I remember some of the inmates would not even go to the chief judge operation. The chief judge operation is once a year where the chief justice of that state comes to the prison and lets certain prisoners free. All charges dropped. So they pick some of the prisoners randomly and they have to go to the chief judge exercise. The media is always there. I remember one girl who said she was not going because she did not want to see the media that they'll show her on TV, so she'll rather stay in prison. This is the reason why we must stop parading suspects in Nigeria. Nobody parades up suspects in America, Canada, or UK, or anywhere. It is strictly done if they have to when that person has been convicted. I'm Kemi Olunlayo, Kemi Talks.